Hi guys. So here's the deal. It is December. It is almost time to break open a new journal. And if you've been following me for any part of this ride, you know that I've been in this lime green journal from Markings Journals. It is a brand that is found almost in every stationery shop from Staples to uh, Five Below and Walmart and a bunch of other places. I uh, buy mine at Staples. I just ran into them. I like the quality of the leatherette. I figured two years ago when I just had found um, the bullet journal method that it would be um, good enough for what I was trying to accomplish. And I started this bullet journal journey not knowing really where it would lead me. I ended up falling head over heels, obsessed. And um, when I completed my first journal, the obvious choice for me was to continue in the same journal because I have a little bit of OCD. I wanted to, um, you know, make the match. But then um, I started my second journal for which I was uh, really excited. I had already gotten to know the paper, the lines, the measurements and all that stuff. Um, I've done a lot of exploring in terms of, um, I started using marker in my second one. Um, I started drawing a lot more. And then when the year was up, um, I could not wait to get into my third journal because I knew that I would be setting um, aside a certain amount of pages so that my entire year uh, would fit into one journal, all 12 months. Um, and so this one is a lot chunkier, as you can see, because I've taken a lot more chances. I've tried a lot more different techniques, a lot more different mediums, and um, I'm, I love this book. It's been a great year for the two of us. I haven't finished it, so I haven't closed it out yet. And I will have a video of a complete flip through of this book. Um, I know that throughout the year I have done the monthly flip throughs, but I think like sitting down and going through the whole thing will kind of be lots of fun and it'll give 2018 closure. Things that I've done differently. I've added washi and at the beginning I was really scared to add washi because I didn't want a bulky journal. I didn't want one of those journals where, although I love to see them from other people, that you can barely close. Um, I didn't want like the accordion type journal situation. So I was really um, careful about not adding too much washi. But then I got into this brown craft sticker paper and started um, adding that in uh, different places and that was a lot of fun. Then I also learned how to use a water brush and that was a lot of fun. Um, and it brought a whole another level of fear into my life because water, of course, is going to go through uh, the paper and leave ghosting and bleeding on the other side. But this paper took it like a champ. Um, I did not expect that two years ago when I started. This is more of the famous watercolor situations that I've done. And this will be the page that... Uh, I have to one day surpass, uh, this page has his own fan club. I don't know if you can see it on video, but there is really minimal ghosting on this side of the paper. Um, I don't know how I did this or if I will ever be able to uh, catch lightning twice, but this is marker and watercolor, um, that watercolor technique with the Tombows. It's probably just easier if you click on the card so you can watch me do this. And then here we have just straight up um, acrylic for this painting. Um, and again, the ghosting is minimal and there is no bleeding. So I um, really appreciate this $10 journal. 
Now, I've had some criticism, of course, about having a line journal. Um, you don't see them often. Actually, I don't think I've really seen them past um, certain accounts, like first couple of posts, and then that disappears, and in come in like the, the big name brand journals that are known for, you know, bullet journaling. I love those journals. Obviously, I have some of them, but this is my bullet journal. This is who I am. This is who I relate to. Um, I am comfortable here. So, in the spirit of that, knowing that um, 2019, obviously my bullet journal uh, journey will continue, I had already anticipated and purchased number four. Um, as you can see right there, I already have marked off where I will be adding the charm. Um, this will be coming off. And um, we were ready to go in here. Uh, I know this journal so well. I didn't even have to um, think twice about it. But the part that made me think twice about it is everybody saying, Anna, please get into a dot grid. Anna, please take a chance on a different journal. Anna, Anna, Anna. So in walks in Piccadilly with this dot grid journal that they are selling um, at Target. And I'm really sorry for those international viewers who don't have a target. I am so sorry. Um, I like Piccadilly as a brand. I actually, um, at a five and below, which is a store that has everything $5 or below, I picked up this calligraphy made easy last year. And this has been uh, really fun to move out of my faux calligraphy. So Piccadilly is, I've known them, you know, I've had the smaller type journals. So I said, you know what? And then they released a commercial that said that they were doing them in this color. And so for me right now, moving out of this journal is not so much a brand like loyalty thing. It's more of a can I live with them sitting on my shelf? And so I think I can deal. Plus, it's the exact same size. It's um, a little over 5 by 8. I don't know what standard size that is. I don't do A5s, A6s, ABs, whatever. Um, I don't get that stuff. But uh, so we're going to open this up on camera. I've been waiting all weekend to do this. Can you just see that I bought a little opener? that's color coordinated yeah it might not be the usual pink aesthetic but I'm trying guys I'm trying if somebody wants to give me aesthetic lessons I am all for it maybe let's not leave that open all right here we go here we go This is very exciting. Ooh, okay, so let's take this off. What does this say? It says it's a dot grid. It has a key, um, which yes, even in my last journal, I don't need to look at it, but I do write it in for tradition's sake. So key is essential. Um, it has 240 pages, which my other journals have as well. It is dot grid, which you all wanted me to use. Um, it has an inner pocket. Let's find that. There you are. Okay, these have a pocket also. Um, all the pages are numbered, so I will no longer have to do that. Yay for that. It has an index section, which I use um, always. I love the index. I love knowing exactly which pages for what. It, I do refer back to my old journals constantly, especially when I forget somebody's birthday. Sorry, Sandra. It's my sister. I forgot her birthday. I'm a terrible sister. Okay, so um, customizable keeps everything organized, improve productivity and creativity. I hope so. Okay, and then the index, we'll see what that is. I think that might be just like a, an idea of what an index is. It's mood trackers. It gives you like a little idea, I think. Journaling shows you how to, 
I'm assuming these are like how to's. Now this journal was eight dollars plus tax and change. So I just saved myself a dollar. Um, first impressions. This color is a little yellower than this one. I can live. Um, they do get dirty, so eventually it will get a little darker. This feeling over here, it might be because, I, I mean, I've been using this for almost three years. So I am used to this feeling. It's softer. It's smoother. This one's more vinyl-y, more... Um, it has more of a texture to it. This one's a lot more uh, leatherette. Okay, let's move that over. Let's open this up. Do I have enough space here? Guys, I'm just checking the camera situation. Okay, so my key is right on the cover, so that saves me a page. Contact info. Hi, Piccadilly. No, this um, video is not sponsored. These are my actual findings. Index, very cute. Index, lots of space for that. Good. Right off the bat, we start at number. We start at number six, seven. Okay. So some pages go into that. It is bound. Let's check out the binding up here. Nice, nice. Okay. Pages are all numbered. Very even with the printing. We're just making sure because I have printed pages of dot grid and found them to print out from my own home printer very unevenly. So looking good, looking good. No unusual spots or, oh, well, there's one. But that happens. I'll let it go. Okay. And we are here to two. 40. Very nice. That's stuck on there. Good. Let's give this another tug. The pocket is like reinforced on this side. You can feel that it's a little thick. Um, I like it. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get into. Um, Let's see how the pens write in this, okay? Because it's all about that. We're going to do actually one of my favorite pages. And um, I do this in every one of my journals. Since I started collecting the Tombos, I have no idea where this page is. Maybe you should just look it up so we can prove that this works. Um, color index 1920. Okay, so this is my marker um, swatch. My Tombos, my Midliners, Stabilos, and the other one I can't pronounce. I'm very sorry. Let's make this page in here and get the show started. Okay, so before I do that, I'm just going to show you that um, I am in, I'm in the month of December. And I've already started planning out. Um, these are my plans for my Volume 4 journal. Um, things I'm going to keep, things that did not work for me, things that I want to change, um, just little tweaks here and there, things I want to try and add, and then um, things that are unfinished in this journal that I would like to finish before I do that flip through that I was talking about. And then over here, very uh, casually, I have an idea of how I want the first few pages of my new journal set up. And that, of course, includes that um, page that we're going to work on now. Now, we have a key. This was mostly if I um, end up in the markings journal. But since I have a key, I don't have to worry about that. Since I have an index, I don't have to worry about those. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to leave this page blank for word of the year. Then I need to keep uh two pages open for my future log which will be that and then right here this is where we're going to go ahead and uh make that page so let me set up I just want to make a pause here in the sped up version and you'll see that um, I 
have all these combos and a great idea if you like to keep track of what colors you have and what colors you run out of is to put a piece of tape um, as soon as you buy them because um, with the wear and tear of grabbing them and being in bags and rubbing up against each other that sounds funny and naughty um, the, the number tends to go away and so um, as soon as I bought them I learned my lesson a little later than I should have is just put wrap a piece of clear tape on that and that way um, you never have to guess again um, you're welcome Okay, so I just realized that I have uh, two 133s, but because I didn't mark this one first, um, I ended up getting a double. So, thank you so much. Alright, so I have made a boogie. Give me a thumbs up if you know about my boo boo stickers. Alright guys, and that about does it for my Tombow swatch. Um, I do not have all of the colors, obviously. I am not there yet. But um, here is what it looks like. We've got a little bit of ghosting, but once my future log is in here, you won't be able to see that really. Uh, no bleeding, although Tombows don't tend to bleed too much. So this is groovy. I like it. Alright guys, so these are all my markers, and like I showed you before, um, we only had one actual bleed right there with the uh, neon orange, and um, but everything else is a little ghosting, not so bad, I'm not unhappy, and with this page of the, the Stabilo page, um, we had... Uh, really just like a tiny bit of ghosting but no bleed at all um the stabilo bosses did bleed and they do in my other journal um i am comfortable with a certain level of ghost um 
So I will not put this paper through water just yet. Um, I'm not really planning on doing any watercolor right now. I am happy. I am going to end this video here. Say thank you to Piccadilly for making a great journal. I will be staying in here for the year of 2019. Yay! And I do not want to discourage you. If you want to try a line journal, do it. Um, I just think it's time to try this dotted thing that I've wanted to try for a really long time. I'm going to end it here. I am going to continue um, planning though. I am going to start filming uh, the video for the setup because now that I've done this page and that I've seen the inside of it, um, I honestly just can't stop. All right, guys. See you guys real soon. Bye-bye. Um, leave me comments down below. Tell me uh, what you think. All right, guys. Thanks so much. See you real soon. Bye. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Don't miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.